good day. Let's get this done. Got something, something really cool to show you. Oops. All right, landscaping drip irrigation system. Let's do it. Got everything I needed from the start, from tools to everything else, and it only cost me $152 even. Pretty cool, went to Home Depot, got it all. I got 200 feet of the big stuff. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me show you what All I right, so I don't know what I'm doing. Just want to let y'all know that, but this is what I'm doing. So I got 200 feet of the, the half inch tubing. I got the quarter inch tubing. I got 200 feet of that. And then I bought 50 feet of the uh, soaker to soaker hose. I got the backflow, the filter and, and uh, regulator. And then this is the adapter for this. I got some these i got some 90s i got some t's i got a shut a shut off valve just in case this puts the hole in the hose for the other stuff i bought this timer then the drippers i got two gallons some one gallons some four gallons and then i have um these are the barb t's i have let's see which ones are these these are the the t's teed off so if i want to go off of that out and then tee off of that there and there I can do that which what I'll do and then these if I need to extend I bought extra stuff just in case goof plugs just in case I put a hole where I don't want it this ties off your hose for your, your main hose at the end and I got some stakes just in case I want to put it up a little higher and let it drip on the water or drip the water drip so this was 150 whatever dollars total. And this should do my whole front yard. That's not bad. Includes everything. Could I have got it cheaper? Who knows? Could I have got it with less stuff? Maybe. I like to have extra stuff just in case I want to modify it or do something cool or do... Because I'm actually going to be doing my baskets. So I measured everything with the measuring thing to my baskets and all that. So... It's gonna be wiring the whole front. All right, I'm not gonna show you the boring stuff, which is me setting this. It's actually really cool. You just go set clock. When do you want it started? For how long and how often? Auto. So I set the clock, 10:20. Start time, 5 a.m. For how long? 60 minutes. How often? Every day. Boom. So it's ready. All right. So it's ready to go. So if I turn this on, I should stop it. Yep. All right, so I installed backflow, timer, compensator thingy, whatever that goes from, makes this hose connect to this. And you're wired to here. This is the filter. I will have to do this later because two male ends. I did not notice that when I bought it. So good times. I do need to get one because this is actually with a pressure regulator that makes it go only to 25 PSI. So I can't turn the system on until it's all done which is all hard. right so i laid out the main half inch hose so i got this coming on here this is all gonna be dug in to the ground i'm gonna put a 90 here kick over wraps around goes around this and then it goes down i'm gonna dig a hole get it underneath here up around just here, kick off there. This is 100 feet, exactly. That's awesome. And the hose here actually goes to the end. It's 100 feet exactly. It's pretty sweet. All right, so I took the compensator over there, dropped it down, and then went into the grass here, because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Got this padded down. There's a 90 on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rocks out all the way across and then pop in there and then cover it with the rocks, not into the dirt. All right, so I worked my way down here. There's a T here, or not a T, a 90, a 90 there, a 90 there, it goes across. I'm gonna work on this later. So I have it coming up and then going back into the dirt. 
down here. And then I'm gonna 90. And a 90 there. And then slowly just build it all the way down. Should look pretty good. Excited. It takes time. But once it's done, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so I am at the end. So at the end, you just cap it with this bad boy right here. So you just put this in here. Like that. That's it. Push it in, put it on the other side. Caps this side off. And we're good. And then I can just bury the rest of it. All right, it's put in. It stops right here, 100, 100 feet. So you can't even tell except for I have the marks. And then each one will have a runner. There'll be a runner there, runner to there, runner to there, runner to here, 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 all the way down. Just got done popping one. So I got that in there. Going to that right there. Uh, what I'll do is after I'm done with all this, I'll show you inside on a sample piece how to do it all. But that's what the hole looks like. So it's not too bad. And then I'll put a little adapter for the hose and then I'll put it right to here. And then I'll have uh, water going to this. Not too shabby. But that's what this hole does. So I just got finished and nothing worked. And I was like, what? And I had pressure. Like, why are these drips not working? So what I did, I installed the little compressors the wrong way. So I had to go through about 30 spots and switch them out with the water on to make sure that they work. And now they do. Job well done. Looks good though. Let me show you. So you can't even see the hoses. Unless you're looking. I got them pretty good. Let's see. Let's see the hose right there. They covered it up pretty well. And the system. Yep, still on. Nope, it's not on. So to manually do it, just click manual. I'm gonna do it for, I wanna actually let it do it for 30 minutes tonight because it hasn't gotten any. And then once it kicks on, bloop. It's powering on. All right, so I'm at my wheelbarrow. I'm gonna do a different one in here, but as you can tell, it's good to go. I need to replace it. That's four gallons an hour. I don't need four gallons an hour in here. So I'm gonna change it down to two, maybe even one, I haven't decided. But that's four gallons, it just, whew, looks good though. Purple Vitex is popping. So that's actually a one gallon. So it's dripping, a little bit smaller plant. This one's gonna grow to this by next year. And then this one, So I need to work on this next. I have a setup for where I'm gonna cut it here. That way I can get it underneath and I just gotta figure out how deep I need to go and get a, a pipe or something and try to get it down underneath. I am not doing this yet. Not until I know how to do all this and I'm doing it correctly. Then I'll transition up here, around, down and tee down to each one of those. That. I got this. This one's at a four. But for the most part, you can't even see the hoses. It's all underneath the rock. Unless you're way back here, then you can. 